ओके सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इंटरव्यूअर्स माइट आस्क यू ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यू ऑफ नेटवर्क इंजीनियर ऑफ आईपी इंजीनियर आईटी सपोर्ट इंजीनियर सो लेट्स डिस्कस वन बाय वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स से एन इंटरव्यू माइट आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट इज रिप सो वी हैव टू एक्सप्लेन सो सिंपली वी कैन से रिप इज अ डिस्टेंस वेक्टर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल इट हैज टू वर्जन्स वर्जन 1 एंड वर्जन 2 रिप वर्जन 1 रिप वर्जन 2 it is an igp type of routing protocol and it is classful routing protocol there are two types one is egp exterior gateway which is bgp one type only and in interior we have a lot of options in igps we have ospf we have isis eigrp distance vector routing protocols hybrid routing protocols like eigrp and link state routing protocols like ospf so a lot of options and rip 1 rip 2 it falls under distance vector type of routing protocol and it is classful classful means that it can support only the classful subnetting which means slash 8 slash 16 and slash 24 class a b c rip 1 is classful while rip version 2 is classless routing protocol which means it can transmit the subnet information along with the routing updates so this is also one of the major difference between these two versions and it supports vlsm variable length subnet mask which means not only slash 24 but also slash 25 26 27 onwards but version 2 supports only version 1 does not support rip uses hop count its metric so what is the metric of uh, routing protocol metric means that how does a routing protocol decide that if it wants to go from destination a to destination b which path it should take because there might be multiple paths between two source and destination so it uses hop count as metric which means it sees that okay how many routers are in between and it will choose wherever it finds less number of hops less number of routers and it sends complete routing table out all interfaces every 30 seconds so after every 30 seconds it sends its routing information on all interfaces and rip version 2 it sends triggered updates as well which means if any change happens before 30 seconds so it will send an immediate update it will not wait for 30 seconds so this is about rip it has two versions it is igp it's a distance vector routing protocol it supports vlsm and it uses hop count to decide its best path and it sends every 30 seconds so we can add on and let them ask the question to you the interviewer and you can keep explaining uh, further options but do not speak so much let them ask more questions so that when they ask a question and you reply to the point it looks like that you know the thing right so what is rip this is rip introduction then after that they might ask us a question so let's say they ask ip network at a company called network walks has a diameter of 20 hops which means that it is a network which spans from one side to another side maximum number of routers between a path could be between a source and destination could be 20 routers right so they are saying that okay which type of routing protocol should we choose we have two options one is rip one is ospf so they are giving us a practical scenario now and they are asking that okay i have a source which is a and i want to send data to b so from a to b there are many many paths and the number of routers this is not real picture actually so they are saying that it is like 20 routers 1 2 3 4 up to let's say 20 routers so which type of routing protocol should we choose either we should choose ospf or either rip so our answer is ospf why because ospf supports more number of hops as compared to rip rip only supports 16 hops so after 16 hops or even the 16th hop it mentions as it advertises as unreachable so after that it cannot support it cannot work so our answer is we should choose ospf they might ask us these kind of scenario based questions okay let's go to next question another question is is it possible to 
Is it possible to stop a RIP router interface to advertise routing updates? Which means let's say we have a router, this one, and we want that, okay, it should only choose this path. So how we can achieve? We can achieve in many, many ways. One way is that we can say that, okay, this interface should stop working on RIP. It should stop advertising the updates so that when we choose the path, we have only one option, this kind of scenario, or we can choose any, you know, we can have any type of scenario. Main requirement is that we should stop advertising. So how to stop? We can use a command called passive interface. So if we run this command on this interface, this interface of RIP, then it will stop routing updates in here. So we can achieve our purpose we might be if we might be wanting to do it to save our bandwidth you know because uh, let's say this is a redundant path this one and we don't want rip to be sending you know because rip will send every 30 second and triggered updates on all the interfaces so it might be sending so many packets might be receiving so many packets and our bandwidth is limited let's say so we can turn off all these interfaces for rip so rip will not advertise and the command is passive interface right so the answer is yes it is possible and we can achieve it through passive interface command